All right. I'm on this roof in Mississippi. It's called uh, Meridian, Mississippi. So it's a thing that helps the airplanes to fly wherever they need to fly. That's all I know about it. Anyway, anyway here's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you a few things. The metal edging around, we're removing the old metal edging. I'm going to show you how to attach uh, torch down to metal edging. I'm going to show you how to attach the torch down to a fiberglass. You see this fiberglass? So I'm going to do the fiberglass flashing there. That's very unique. You need to see that at the end because that is important. And then I'm going to show you also how I install a torch down over this uh, roof, uh, over an existing roof. And what else I'm going to show you? I'm going to show you a few things: the drippage, the flashing, and then I'm going to show you all the components we use to do this roof. So you're going to learn a lot if you watch this roof. It's going to help you. Hopefully I entertain you and I'll teach you and you can help me with thumbs up. All right, let me show you what I do first. We're removing the gravel or the stone that was a ballast here and we're removing the old drippage. See? This drippage. We're removing the old drippage. All right, so that's what we're doing. We are preparing this roof to receive a new roof. We got all the stone off and then blow blow all the dust off and, and now we're busy putting a base sheet on. The base sheet, now this is not a base sheet for torch down, this is for a peel and stick cap sheet but we couldn't find one for torch down so I'm using this. This is a round uh, uh, building, we have this round edge and I have to do, I have to cut the drippage. What I do is I cut this so I can, it can go around the building every, every 12 inches, see? So that's what I do to get around it, okay? I have screws, plate and screws. And I put the screw down for this uh, drippage. So I make sure this will never come up with a hurricane. That's it. That is so secure, it will never, a hurricane will not bring it up. A roof. I'm going to explain it here. Um, people always worry about the wind lift of a roof. A roof cannot lift up unless, unless the wind comes underneath the roof. And the only way it can come underneath the roof is if wind can come in here, from underneath here. But if this is tight against the fascia, Wind cannot blow in here and lift this up, and then I have screws with plates, so it's never going to lift up. That's the principle. You don't want wind to be able to come in underneath here and lift this up. It becomes a sail. This doesn't have to be screwed down. Never. It will never lift up. This is tight. It is glued down, but it will never lift up. But only in the edges where the water, where wind can come in, it will lift up and blow the roof off. It's the only place where a roof starts blowing up is if it can, if wind can come underneath the membrane and it will blow up. So that's a principle. Always make sure your edging is very secure. Now, if you don't have that secure, you're only nailed and it's rusting or whatever, eventually it will come up. That's where most roofs, why most roofs blow up. All right, that was one step, how to do the drippage. We're gonna show you how to tie the drippage in with the membrane as soon as we get there. The, the mule hide, hide peel and stick base works very good with the torch down. I love it. So I don't have trouble with it. So that's what I do. Now let me show you about torching. I, you don't need to torch a lot. You just want to burn the plastic. See that 
that plastic and the plastic here. That's the plastic you want to burn. And then you want to heat up the seam here, okay? So the seam. That's it. Burn the plastic. out a little bit look see there just a little bit not more than an eighth of an inch you can if you overheat it it's not good let me show you again I burn a plastic With your trail, you want it a little bit to ooze out. See there? Nothing more than that. That's perfect. So, again, to torch, you gotta. We're using a, a, a peel and stick base, and we're just burning the plastic off of the peel and stick, and then I. I melt the seam. Let me show you. I burn that plastic. I burn that plastic. I burn that plastic. And then I'm, I heat up so this is melted. You see it's melted there? Look. Melted. And then I roll it together and you can see it's oozing out on the edge there. Okay? This is oozing out more than I would like to, but I'm just doing this for the for the video. the roofing material to the drip edge most people what they would do is let me show you what they will do and this is the wrong thing most people do this they they heat this up they heat the membrane up all the way and they put it down onto the metal that's wrong because the metal will warp and the the, the membrane expands when you do that and over time the membrane wants to shrink and it shrinks and then it puts pressure on the drip edge and it pops the drip edge or it pops loose from the drip edge. So you don't want to heat up the membrane and attach it to the metal. It will never work. It doesn't work that way. So what you do is, I'll give you my trick. This is a trick I've done for 40 years. You put, and listen, you gotta read. Read it. People don't read. It says modified by tumen adhesive. Adhesive, okay? Read. So what is it? Adhere to what? 
That's what you use. It's designed for that. All right. It's designed to adhere. So I put the motor for the tar, which is compatible to the membrane because it's a modified by human membrane. And you want to put the membrane and the adhesives together. And that will make ensure that it sticks to the metal. And I'm going to explain to you what happens. So, to understand the principle here, what happens is when you heat up the mem membrane, this membrane, it expands. The metal doesn't expand. So when this expands, when you stick it down, it's expand in expanded form. Over a year or two, this membrane will shrink and it will, the tar that is liquid will allow it to shrink, to pull back slightly. It will give it that little give and slide on that tar and not pull the membrane loose or pull the drippage off of the roof. That's the principle. You don't want to torch it down, but let me show you now. This is how you do it. mess here because my trowel had tar on and I didn't see that so the customer might complain because you're using a dirty towel so make sure you use a, a, the trowel for tar and a trowel for, for your membrane you don't want to use both at the same time all right so there you got it that's how you attach the membrane to the, the membrane to the drippage all right All right, okay. this is done for the day. I'll teach you tomorrow how we make a transition to this T piece. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna do a transition here, how we make this membrane adhere to the fiberglass. So we have to make a transition, all right? That's the next lesson, all right? All right, so the most important part of a roof and also the last part of the, what you do on a roof, once you do a roof, is the flashing. That is the most important part of any roof, flashing. The metal edging on the, on the edge and the flashing. The roof itself never goes bad, most of the times. But most of the times you have leaks around the flashing. So here, what you normally have to do is, you have to clean the flashing, and I did some of that yesterday. But I'm going to show you, you clean it with a wire brush like this, okay? And, ah, battery's down. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's get another, let's to get the battery. All right. So you get the idea, you clean the, you clean you clean the surface with a wire brush and this has happened to be a fiberglass surface so you cannot just go and torch to a fiberglass surface and uh, the fiberglass surface you have to clean it because people paint this they they use other rubber stuff on it you cannot go over that you have to get to the surface if it's metal go to the surface the metal if it's fiberglass, go to the fiberglass. But a unique product that will stick to fiberglass is this uh, super silicone seal. That's what I use, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how I did the, uh, the torch down. I brought the torch down slightly up. Slightly up. You can see it is coming about an inch up to the, to the fiberglass. It makes for a better transition. So if ice and water and whatever sits here, it cannot go up here. But even so, I'm gonna seal it 
so it's a double security I'm making. I'm not just using only the super silicone seal. I'm using two different ways to make this secure. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do this. What I do is I use a, a fleece. This is a polyester fleece. I'm going to cut myself like a four foot length to get started. What I need to do is because it's a round object, I'm going to have to cut uh, like a little tabs so I can. Uh, amazing, I always have wind when I do this. Always. This is like guaranteed there's going to be wind when I do this. Guaranteed. I'm going to put this fleece around there like that. You see that? Look how nice it looks. So it fits right around there, just like that. So just like that. The super silicon seal is pliable, flexible. It doesn't get um, it doesn't get brittle or hard like tar, but. Uh, it's pliable, it's flexible, so it will flex whatever the fiberglass does during the summer or winters. This is the best transition you can have. It will never leak, never come loose. And then you put your you put your fleece right there. Right there. That fleece is a secret to the whole thing. Um, the fleece is what gives the strength. You see how nice it looks? Clean job. It always makes for a perfect job. It's clean, neat. And then you take the, the silicone and you add it to the top. All right, so now I do the same thing again. And this is guaranteed. A simple process if you just know. And you do the same thing again on top of the fleece. And you'll never have a problem. The fleece is a secret to the whole thing. If you don't have the fleece, it'll work. It'll work for a while. But eventually you're going to have trouble. Okay. You cannot beat that. So, that's what it looks like. It's very clear, very nice, clean. Water cannot get in. And it sticks to the membrane, it sticks to the fiberglass. There is no other way to do it. Other people have EPDM, they do tape on, they did so many things, and it doesn't work. This will never, never go bad. All right. I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah, blah, blah. Please subscribe and please thumbs up. But more of all, best of all, thumbs up for this girl. <laughs> no, not me. Okay. Thumbs up for this girl. No. <laughs> all right, thumbs up for this girl. <laughs> we are in Mississippi together doing this roof and she did most of the work. All right? <laughs> all right, if the camera work is bad, you don't thumbs up. Thumbs down for camera work, okay? But if, it's, if you like the camera work, you thumbs up me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <It's still> funny. <laughs> This is a team, we did this roof in Mississippi and we all are the flat roof doctors. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two, blah, blah, blah. And thank you for watching and thumbs up with my son, my son and his wife and my wife. <laughs> all right, thank you.